Hey, what's going on guys? If you are watching this video, that must mean that you have gotten this version of Crazy Cues, the game where you ask a whole bunch of questions to your family members and a game that invokes stories. And so if you have already downloaded the Crazy Cues, go ahead and print them out. And it's gonna look like this on a page. And you know, if your printer gets down or low on ink, they might look like this. Um, you can print them out in black and white, but color is just usually more fun. You'll be able to, to match up the colors and for it to be more vibrant and just a different experience. Um, but totally up to you. I know printer ink is expensive. So what we're gonna do after you print out these cards is write out your different questions on these cards. Now, you can literally write any question you want on these cards. Um, but try to ask a question to invoke a story, right? So maybe not just like, what's your favorite color? That's an easy one. And that will create, you know, an answer. But if you have something along the lines of what was, how old were you when you first went on your roller coaster ride, your first roller coaster ride, and how did you feel? You know, something like that. Or were you scared? You know, something like that. But anyway, the questions are up to you, and I have some questions already filled out, so it'll give you a little idea. You can use them, you could not, you could type them in, you could not, totally up to you. Now, after you print them out, what I've just done with my family, and I suggest you could do with yours as well, is just hand somebody a sheet, and they can literally just fill them all out right here. And then before you play, you can cut them out into these cards. Now, this crazy question game is very, very similar to Uno. Um, so if you've ever played Uno before, very self-explanatory. This one right here, so the name of the game is to match up your numbers or your colors with the one that's already put out there. So you have a whole stack of these cards, you put them in the middle after you have served up eight cards, seven or eight cards really depends on um, how you want to play and how many people are in your party. Um, and then you put this, you know, big stack of cards in the middle. And then you flip up the first card, bloop, which would be, you know, green five. So you would have to either put down a green or a five or a magic card. Now, the magic cards are this one right here. So this has all the different colors on it, green, yellow, blue, red. So after somebody puts this one down, um, the, the question is asked to the next person in line. So you're already gonna be creating a flow of order. So from the, when the first person starts, it's gonna go to the left, 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 until it comes back. And unless you have a reverse card or a cancel card, which we'll go over in a, in a second. So if you have a magic card, you can put down any suit and the person next to you, the person next in line has to answer this question. So what was your least favorite chore? Boof, easy, easy question. Um, so. There's a few other cards. Plus two means somebody has to go, the person whose turn it is next has to draw two cards out of the deck, on top of the deck, um, until they can play, until they can play a card. Um, same thing with the cancel card. This means that if we're going in the direction of left, of the order of play, it skips over the next person and goes on to the next, the next person after that. So that is the cancel card. And this is also, there's also one reverse card and there's one for every suit. So our reverse card reverses the order to where if we're going all the way to our left on a normal order of play, then it goes in reverse order. And the whole idea of the game is number one, to have fun and to talk to people um, and ask them, ask them questions that they normally don't get. And number two is to try and get rid of all of your cards. So to be able to get rid of all your cards and towards the end, there'll be you know one person with one left and when that person puts it down, they are the question master and every single person in the room has to answer their question they put down, um, which is really fun and honestly, it's just something that stimulates conversation and story time, story storytelling time. Um, so if you are, you know, if in your family the communication isn't the best because of past traumas or because of judgment or because of different things that have happened um, throughout history, which happens to all of us, 
this game is a fun way to be able to, to really get to know each other. And instead of just randomly asking these questions, it goes into a, ra a random form um, to where you never know which question you're going to ask. Nobody's asking you directly. It's the cards, right? So it's, it's a great way to be able to open up conversation. And if for some reason it seems like the right cards go to the right people. So if you guys have any more questions, uh, I know that was kind of a, a raw gist of things, but again, if you've played Uno before, it's something that's very easy. Um, if you don't feel called to, to write in the questions, that's okay. You can use the ones that I've, I've actually used with my family and have just collected different questions over time that have just been really funny. So I've decided to put them in here. So let me know what you guys think. Play the game. Check it out and provide any feedback that you want. If you like it, you love it, you share any um, pictures or videos of, of you playing it, I'd really appreciate that. Just to see that other people are enjoying it as much as I did. And to be honest, with I've played this multiple, multiple times, and it, this game could go on for four hours. So, so definitely block off, a, 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 block off a chunk of time so that you can play and enjoy it. Uh, with your family members, or if it's just an icebreaker. There's so many applications to this game, and you guys are going to go out and have a blast. So thank you for being here, and uh, go out there and enjoy some crazy cues.